It's not that I'm fast. It's not that I'm strong. It's not because I come from a family of fighters. It's because I'm the smartest up here. There's no fighter out there that can match me up here. What's up? It's your boy Remus, and welcome to the Champ Set Podcast, the podcast for champions. What's up? It's your boy Remus. And listen, we're a group of winners and we do everything to get the win because to us allowing a loss is a sin. This is the home for champions in training. This is the Champ Set Podcast. And today we're going to be talking again about the old school versus the new school. And this will be a part two to the other part, or obviously the first part I did on this, which was based on like the quantity of rounds and amount of fighting that the old fighters used to face, uh, used to fight. And it's not to down the new school fighters but again it's just to make us aware of what was possible back in the day or what the um what the setup was before so that we can kind of you know incorporate that mindset for ourselves that will give us a competitive edge over the fighters of today now when you look at um when you go right back to like the start of modern boxing you know kind of as it's known now like at the end of the 19 um at the end of the 1800s and the start of the 1900s. Basically, there wasn't so many belts like there is today. But before, I know there used to be eight. So, for example, you, you could have a guy who was really a middleweight fighting, you know, someone who's leaning towards... um, Like, you could have a guy who's middleweight challenge a guy who's leaning towards the cruiserweight, you know, and he's facing a guy who's light heavyweight. Or you could have a guy who's... You could have a guy who's a welterweight and, you know, there were some guys welterweight facing guys that were middleweight and even trying to challenge guys that were heavyweight. And that's crazy because in this day and age, you have, if a guy has two or three pounds difference, it actually, you know, stops him from being confident in that match or they say, wow, that's way too much. But guys used to face each other like that were 40 pounds above them. So there were less divisions and there were less champions. And what this did is force the um it forced the standard of what you needed to be to be a champion to be so high like you couldn't just kind of win the championship like ducking certain guys or you couldn't win the championship without proving yourself without having many fights you had to face most of the top guys to get that spot like you just had to. And this is different today. You could fight a lot of guys that are basically, you know, I don't want to call them bums, but in a sense, in that competition level, yeah, they're, they're not that good. And you could actually become a world champion. So it's much easier now. And you could say it's maybe good a good thing for you because that lowers the bar for you, you know, to at least get the title. And then if you want to be one of the greatest, then you start challenging the other champions. And you're going to have to because... To be compared to those guys before, they just like they didn't fight other champions a lot when it was the first of the of the century. They were fighting the challengers, but the standard of the challengers who were, you know, the top five and stuff was so high that it was like facing other champions like it would be today. So today you get a belt and you you fight a lot of guys who are also champions and you dominate them to be great. But then you get certain guys who sleep like they they take advantage of it to allow them to duck other guys and they just want to hold on to one bell and then just face a ton of guys that you not you you know aren't really good and that's why we have champions today that we don't rate because we say oh he hasn't fought anyone but we have to remember back in the day it was impossible to have be a champion and not have fought anyone if that makes sense now if you know about this mindset again it makes you more determined it makes you more um it raises your quality it just it makes you aware that the standard of being a champion isn't just when you get the belt now it's when you go through those great challenges and you prove yourself and you have to be wanting and willing to prove yourself not just get the belt because the belt is just material it's just a t- title um in words it's just a label what you really want to get the greatness in the history is what is is you want to beat great challenges and that's what the Older guys did naturally to get the belt, and what what a lot of guys what a lot of guys now don't need to do to get the belt. But because you want to be better than everyone else, because you want to etch your name in history, you're gonna do it. Anyway, that's all I'm gonna speak about today. 
comment down below if you think, you know, the old fighters did have a higher standard of competition today than uh, than today. Um, yeah, and I hope to see you in the next podcast. So stay focused. Let's get it. Champs.